So about three years ago, Leslie and I uh, decided to join forces. Um, one of the things that, that I love, you know, as you know, is the water, is, uh, is helping any way we can. And one of the things that I know that you're, you know, um, you and I share a very similar passion for helping our waterways. Uh, a lot of the work we do has always been you know, around the waterways, around the wetlands. Um, and now, you know, a couple years ago, we decided to delve into the aquatic weed removal, mechanical weed removal, uh, the maintenance dredging, um, and uh, shoreline restorations. Um, tell me a little bit about why you think that's important, and I'll share my, my thoughts. Well, uh, keeping, your, keeping your waterways, whether it be a retention area, whether, you, whether you're an owner or you're a manager or whatever, keeping your retention areas and waterways clean is, is very, very, very important. Um, for years, as you know, they've been doing a lot of spraying on these things. And the spray, it puts that copper, copper sulfate. And, but uh, as you know, it, it just piles up on the bottom. And next thing you know, you've got, a, you've got four, three or four foot of sediment because you, all you've been doing is spraying. Now spraying ain't a bad thing, but if you've got an overgrowth of vegetation, go in there and spray it, Time after time, it just rots on the bottom. It essentially just kills your lake, you know? So um, I'm pretty passionate about all the waterways, but eventually it also affects your drainage of your lakes and everything, as you know, drains right back into our waterways. And all these chemicals, fertilizers, everything, you know, even a retention pond, that's a small thing, but it goes, that's one little thing that just keeps adding on, you know, and you got thousands upon thousands of retention areas, they all drain back into our system somewhere. That, that, that is true, that is true. I agree. You know, that's why, that's why I try to tell people that, you know, when they have these retention areas, I've gone and, go looked, at, I've gone and looked at them, they just like, uh, just knock it down. I've got the city or the county on me. And I go, I'm trying to tell them though that the correct way to do this is let's clean this thing out. Let's clean out all the vegetation and dredge out the stuff on the bottom of it then you can have you uh, a spray plan that is just very minimal. It would take, you know, because you're wiping out the problem. These people, they let the retention areas get so bad. And then, then they say, okay, spray it. And then they wait another few more years and then boom, spray it again. And it's doing the same thing. And eventually they just have a, have a dead lake and they have a floating mud island out there that's, that's growing stuff through it. You know, so that's what I like about this dredging opportunity that you and I like doing. You know, getting rid of that stuff. You know, it's we're not saying it's a it's a cheap solution at times. You know, depending on the severity of your lake. You know, I mean, but I like to think we have really good good prices. We like to help out people, and um, we can even do a payment. We even do payment plans to help people out for dredging. You know, because sometimes it can be costly and uh, if it's a lot of it. So we don't, I like us doing that payment plan with, with customers. It's yeah. pretty awesome. 